to one more Shark Tank fail. Now, let's go next video. We'll watch another Shark Tank fail. If you have any Shark Tank fails or any uh, funny Shark Tank pitches, send them in the video suggestion tab. We'll watch some of them on um, Sunday because that's the next React Day. All right. Uh, we got this video. We got four more. I investigated the city where only criminals live, why U.S. malls are dying and European malls aren't. Uh, Mom uh, found out I was a genius. And then we got a, a good-ass short film. All right. I investigated the city where criminals live. Hold up. My friend responded. Oh, my girlfriend texted me, actually. Hold up. All right. Here we go. Read it out loud. I'm not going to read my I'm not going to read my text with Brooke. It's something about her family, bro. I'm not going to fucking talk about that. L chatter. L chatter, bro. You think I'm going to fucking you think I'm going to Oh, I'm just going to read it. No, I'd read it if it was something that that's like a public thing. I thought you were frozen. No, I was just reading the text. All right. They were joking, LOL. Yo nimble, nimble. 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 All right. I <laughs> lock in your chat. I investigated the city where only criminals live. Uh, all right. Everybody chat. Lock in. Lock in. I'm not going to press play until people lock in. And the real for the sub. Thank you for the sub, bro. Yeah, I should be younger. She's 13. She charged me 20 counts of possession of child pornography. I made a big screwing mistake. She lied to her age, said she was 18, and to find out she was 16. Uh, I'm done with this. You keep bringing that up. You're, you're being disrespectful. This is Miracle Village, a town in the middle of- Wow, this really is the middle of nowhere. This is Mi That looks like a movie. Does this look real? Are they all farmers? Miracle Village, a town in the middle Tyler of no- ma Tyler makes the same videos every time, I swear. I mean, do y'all not want to watch this? I, I thought this looks- I mean, it looks different. Yeah, he makes interview-based videos, but he's like a fucking interview guy now. Where Florida, founded by a sex offender to house other sex offenders once they get out of prison. But how many sex offenders live here? Do they think what they did was wrong? I don't think that's an actual- He said city. It's a neighborhood. The people of Pahokee, the closest oh, shit. maybe it actually is a city. Neighboring town, think of living next to a village of sex offenders. When they first moved here, they was walking all along the road. It was kind of frightening to me because I used to keep little daycare kids. They'd send me a paper as they were moving in, the sex offenders. Do you feel concerned as a father that they are so close? Yes. That's why I don't let my daughter walk anywhere. I mean, you don't know who's who. You really don't know who's who. I would tell them get away. I'm like, I don't want no parts of it. I don't want to hear about it. That's sick. You know, leave us alone. And they haven't gone yet. They won't go by these men standing That's Blue Gas so Station. All right, we're going to go there too then. So the old lady was telling us to do Investigate the gas station. To hang out here, basically keep the sex offenders from crossing the line. Yeah. Like, you, like sex offenders like, don't go past a certain yeah, line. They're homophobic and they don't like all those. Really? They're old people, like, got it. they're not young. But they'll keep, like, kind of an eye on them. Do you have any thoughts on the sex offenders being so close? Oh, yeah, man. It's very bad out here, man. They got them right down there in the Pelican Lake down there. Okay. They be walking through here all the time. Did you raise a family out here? Yeah, I have a family. Does yeah, that yeah. concern you as a father? It's very concerning, man. I mean, at least they should put a fence around them. Well, when you see them, it'd be, like, probably about 20 of them. Oh, 20 of them. They walk in packs. Yeah, they walk in packs. Why? For protection? Sometimes. After talking to the people of Pahokee and driving There's past There's no way they walk in packs. I've seen this before. This came out, like, 18 hours ago school i drove six minutes down the road and i'd made it to the sex offender village okay well we trespassed pelican lake let's ask this guy wants to chat hey what's your name i'm ryan ryan get to meet you i'm tyler so there's everybody that everybody that lives there is a registered sex offender meet you too tyler so are you familiar that everyone here for the most part is a sex offender down yes here? got it um that's not you oh uh, i got sex charges yes bro i cannot read those warnings that fucking quick under yes here? got it um, that's not you? Oh, I got sex charges, yes. Oh my god, dude, you're flashing for fucking you? half a second. Oh, I got sex charges, yes. Educational purposes don't have to any of the interrated question. It's not a good for sexual assault. Is this TOS? I don't think this would be a TOS, right? 
Nimble for the three said you're trying to fight. Uh, the Real Duck for the 11-month sub and Jake for the sub. You want to share how you ended up here? It's not? Uh, okay. Um, yeah. I, I could still scan. I'm going to scan real quick just in case. Because for him to put all those warnings, it looks like he just interviews like his normal videos though. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Tell me about it. What happened? Whoa. Uh, Sandra for the three. What are your three Desert Island comedy movies? Oh, Desert Island, meaning I can only watch three comedy movies for the rest of my life. Owen oh, for the sub, straight for the three. The moon people have captured me. They're already prone me. They're coming, Joe. Three movies for the rest of my life, and they're all comedy movies. Uh, this is the end. Dude, where's my car? Ooh, three, only three. Super bad. Oh, dude, but I watched a really good comedy movie last night. It was like something to the Greek, bring something to the Greek, to the Greek comedy. It has Jonah Hill in it. Get him to the Greek. It was a really good, funny movie. Lazy for the three, or for the sub. I don't know. There's too many good comedy movies to pick three for the rest of my life. Step Brothers. Dude, like Blades of Glory is a really good one too. Why was it taken for the three? But if I'm only choosing three for the rest of my life, probably, I might actually get rid of this as the end. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of this as the end. I'm going to go <sighs> super bad. Dude, where's my car? Tropic Thunder? No. Grown Ups? Y'all, like, yo, chat, you got some bad fucking movie taste, right? Grown Up, Were the Millers? That's a good one. Were the Millers, maybe. Actually, Were the Millers to replace one of them. L Tropic Thunder? Tropic Thunder is, I haven't seen it in years, though. See, I don't know. Because I, I can't really say Tropic Thunder because I haven't seen that movie in like eight years. So I actually don't know if it's still good. Uh, so I'd probably go where the Millers were the Millers. I'm going to go. Okay. Whatever. I want to get back to the video. The state for the thousand dollars, but he's lazy for the set. Uh, but um, I don't know. It's no. like, it's impossible to determine what, what the best 24. fucking comedy oh, movies would be because it has to be one that it might not even be the funniest movie. It might be like one that you can just repeatedly watch. Right. Cause like the funniest movie might get old, but if it's a movie that you could just repeatedly watch over and over I met again, someone that's lied the best me one. About Pineapple, her Express, age. Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express. Overrated, still a good movie. Shane for the three. Uh, lazy for the sub. Why for the three? Uh, it's our national uh, day today here in France. What's your opinion on our situation? What is your situation? I don't know. What's going on in France right now, chat? I I actually don't know. Where are the Millers a top 10 movie? It is top 10. Okay. I could give like a top 10 for the rest of my life. Giving me a top three. I'd have to think about that for like hours. You haven't seen the riots? No. Matt for the five. What's going on in France? France riots after police shot a 17-year-old. The interior minister said 45,000 officers were deployed across France overnight on Saturday. How many? I did not know there's a riot. There's riots in France. Is it just because of that or is there other shit? A police officer shot dead the teenager who is an Al of Algerian heritage. He was scared the boy would run someone over with the car. Oh my God, I'm trying to read about the riots. It just keeps going into politics. Is that also part of it? Yeah, a lot of security personnel. Police have detained 28 people in riots. I mean, I hope everything's okay. 
Uh, meme sir for the Andrew Betty's first time on stream. What's your favorite kind of genre? Genre of what? Movie? Uh, comedy or thriller? It's super for the three. Uh, sub Joe, let used Prime sub. Oh, just used Prime sub. Thank you for the sub of Prime. Matt for the five. Top five animated movies. Okay, now you're asking me a lot of questions. Top five animated movies running down just off the top of my head. Avatar. Um, ooh, dude, animated movies. I can't even fucking think of animated movies right now. Up. Avatar CGI. Okay, well, that, yeah, it is. It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fully animated. Up. Shrek 1. I haven't seen any of the Spider-Man cartoons. Somebody said Up. Nah, bro, what? Up is a very emotional movie with a great story. The fact that you said nah to Up means you don't have good movie taste. You're about to say the Minion. Uh, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3. Uh, in the Minion movie. Sing 1 and 2. There you go. Like... Like, Five what do you years. want me to say? I ended up finding out about this place. My mom talked to him, and I moved down here to okay. get closer to her. So the girl lied about her age, and then yeah. you went to prison for that? Yeah. Do you talk to any of your neighbors out here? Do they have similar stories, or is it all pretty different? It's all different, pretty yeah. much different. And how old are you now? Um, 32. 32. Do you think you got dealt a wrong hand, or you were in the wrong? I got dealt a wrong hand. You know what I mean, I was taken advantage of. I didn't have a lawyer, and they see me as an easy target to put in prison. So, how old is the person? Say? She lied to her huh. age, said she was 18, and to find out she was 16. And you were 24. Yes. How long after that event did you end up uh, at trial? Uh, it was probably about four or five months. How long did the trial take? A few hours. Really? Yeah, they scared me to sign it. So explain that. What do you mean? Pretty much accusing me of something that I didn't do. I've never been in trouble. I have no GB record, and they seen me as an easy target. You pled guilty? Yes. Have you lost work opportunities since that event? Yeah. There are some out there that won't let you get jobs. In prison, do sex offenders have it much worse? Uh, I'm done with this. Okay. I'm really done with this because... You keep bringing that up. You're, I mean, you're being are, are all the people here, were they in? Bro, the fucking raid. Bro, that is a massive raid. That's the biggest raid I've gotten in a fucking while. Wow, what a fucking dub in the chat. Strawberry Tabby for the fucking rate of 1494. 1,494 people. Thank you for the fucking raid. Uh, if you don't know Strawberry Tabby, she's a TikToker, streamer. I don't know if you do YouTube. But I follow her on TikTok. Fellow streamer, fellow TikToker that transferred to other platforms. Thank you for the fucking raid, Strawberry. Appreciate the raid. My God. Came out of nowhere. It was a mid-sentence. I don't even remember what the fuck I was saying. Morocco. And Morocco for the 10k fucking pennies! God damn, bro. The fucking raid. W raid and W Morocco for the 10k bits. What the fuck? Dude, thank you for the fucking bits, Morocco. One, two, or Morocco T, one, two, or one, two, five, and fucking Tabby for the fucking uh, thousand, per, thousand plus per pen, a person raid. Fucking stuttering over here. Shoot for the four. I don't know if, uh, sorry, I said anything. Thank you for the raid, though. My God. Fucking massive raid. Holy shit. Thank you for the raid. And for the fucking biddies. What a dub for Morocco, bro. Thank you. Thank you as well. Wow. Okay. Respectful. How so? What do you mean, how so? Oh, Wait, I, I was more so interested this. in how your life was affected. That's kind of, I guess, the, the point of focus. What we're interested in, how that's affected people's Can lives. Turn that off now, please. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I thought he's going to hit me in the head with the crowbar, I'll be honest. But he didn't. Oh, he was a holding a crowbar? I thought he was holding a cane. Later, I spotted this lady outside her house who told me something unexpected. Hey there, is this where um people who have committed sex offenses live? Are no, you? No, I live here, and I'm not a sex offender. Okay. Because sex offenders can't live everywhere. Okay. You can only go where you're allowed to go. You can either be on pr probation or whatever. Like my brother is an offender, and he's not on probation, but he still got that on his status. So what did your brother do? Or is it a weird thing to he's talk a about? Plumber. But what did he do to get the crime? I don't know. Oh, so you never talked about it. The boy him. talks him for the ten gifted. What is what the fucking subs, dude? Dub in the chat for that. Thank, you, gotta thank you for the 10 gifted. So and orange for the fucking thousand biddies. Oh my god, the sitch for the sub. The boy talks, thank you for the fucking 10, uh, the 10 gifteds. Orange cream for the thousand biddies. Missed the first hour of stream. 
I have five AP classes that have a lot of homework. How are you in school right now? The C kids for the sub. Are some people in class right now? I see. It's Is fucking July. Oh, okay. What percentage of people? I here mean, summer do you think school. They don't have AP classes, right? Expenders that came here for that reason. I would say eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay, that's pretty high. You know this guy? No. Maybe they'll talk. No, he won't. Is he a sex offender? I don't know. He just won't talk. Who do you think we should talk to, if anyone? No. Nobody's gonna talk. Really? Unless you get a stupid one. I took this as a challenge and began driving around the village, knocking door to door. I mean, it is. It's like Tyler's walking up to your door, and he's like, "Well, how did he become a sex offender?" Like. Like, it, it, it's not odd if they're like, I don't want to fucking speak to you. Someone talked to me. Hello. We were wondering if any of you guys would like to chat and tell us about your story. No. I was wondering if you'd be down to talk for this video we're making, trying to hear the stories of the people here. How to end oh, he's up probably here getting turned out on the phone right now. No, I'm sorry, I'm working. I don't have to. As you know, it's a sensitive issue. This is a great place, so that's really all I can. Okay. You wouldn't want to share anything else? I don't think so. I'm not sure what the upside would be. I know what the downside would be, though. And finally, this guy talked. Dude, he probably yeah, walked uh, up to like everybody here. That man yeah. is 90 fucking years old. Okay, and do you have to be a sex offender to live here? No. no okay, got it. Do everybody. Are you a sex offender? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. What did you do? I made a big screwy mistake. Got it. Well, right that's there. private. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And right when I was getting close to the truth, I had alerted the people in charge of protecting this community's privacy. Wait, who are you guys? We're just making a documentary. Uh, you need to leave. Oh, why is that? Oh, we don't want you out here. What do you mean? Well, you have to go through the office. Oh, okay, yeah. the front office. Yeah. So I played dumb and went to the office to see who ran this operation. Let's see if we can get a little interview here. Hello. Hi. Hey, we need this uh, little video. Talk to the people that live here. I'm trying to hear their stories and how they ended up here. We don't talk to the media. It's not something we're allowed to do. We've had past issues with the press. Got it. But since I'm just a YouTuber, I got back in the car and kept knocking door to door until I heard more stories. We're wondering if you'd be willing to share your story. Yeah. He didn't uh, kick him out. He just got back in his car and went back on the drive. My story's not that big a deal. I just got some computer. Yeah, bro, why would anybody want to admit to committing any crime, especially when they're on camera? That's it. You know, That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying I, it's not it's not shocking they're hesitant to speak to him. Have a hands-on charge. There's a lot of uh, over-punishment involved here. So what did you do? I looked at some child teenage girls on the computer. Okay. I was being monitored by the police, and uh, I did three years for it. But uh, I still got thrown in the same category as guys that maybe have inst or little, little tiny ch Like hands-on stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. This is one of the few places in... You know, well, I mean, I'm assuming all the people here have done more serious stuff, but that is... He is right in the sense of, like, you can be considered a sex offender for peeing in public. And you will be in the same category as people that have, like, molested, like, genuine children. Like, it, it, like not in the same, like, broad category where you're going to be listed as that for as long, but, like, if you're, like, peeing in public... And, and you're, like, charged for that, I'm pretty sure you're a sex offender. Can you be considered... Can you be considered a sex offender for peeing in public? Because when I was in high school, one of my friends was peeing uh, in public on, like, a fucking pole in the parking lot of, like, a mall at like nine at night when like no one was there and a cop like pulled up to him after he was done and he was like i'm not going to do anything but like you could be a sex offender for this and he was like what and then he ran away but then he was fine yeah you can be fined under the public order if you're caught urinating in public it's a sexual offense uh, Lil Vex for the it. three. You Most should listen to Lil Vex uh, so i can get paid what is that uh are you you're a fucking uh spotify rapper uh, Dill for the three. First time on stream. Been watching the YouTube for two years. Keep it up. And Orange Cream for the three. Uh, I go to the one of the one of the best schools in the nation, and it requires kids to take a bit of two APs, and all of them have uh, a lot of summer homework. Yo, that is an L. F Yo, W that you're in that school. L school though. You have fucking summer AP classes. It's life for the sub. That sucks. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be That's better ass. If you killed somebody. But I was inserted. Summer in AP work. Oh shit. An open bay dorm, which is, means the beds are all in the open floor. A guy to my right was there on a 12-year sentence for assault. The guy to my left stabbed someone to death. I'm in between those two guys, and I got a third-degree felony. I'm wondering to myself, how did I get in between a murderer and someone that put someone in the hospital? We're looking at some videos on a computer one evening in my home. I just happened to be nosy and stumbled onto a file-sharing program site that was really getting music, downloading music, LimeWire. Lime and uh, somebody said, hey, man, you get all the free music you want in the world, you know? 
Sure. I was downloading free music, and here's what I did. Yeah. I was, I'm watching TV, and uh, I'm uh, see this this hear this music from this band I used to know from the '60s called The Young Bloods. Okay. And so I said, oh, "That's a great group. Let me see if I can find a video of them on on LimeWire." Okay. So I typed what the in, fuck is LimeWire? Young Bloods. Before I could spell the word blood, it came out blonde. So it kind of gave me a suggestion of blonde, and I went, "Yeah, I wonder what that is." So I hit the open the door to child. Which I, I didn't even know how to find before. Sure, sure. Now, you know, if I got anything that looked like it was a little tiny little or something, I get a little bit disgusting. Yeah. But when I saw teenage groups, I how do you not know what lime wire is? Because I don't fucking know what lime wire is. And put some of this it's where you can pirate music. Yeah, maybe that's why I don't know what fucking lime wire is. Because who the fuck needs a pirate music when you can just fucking use free Spotify? 18. Sure. Or yeah, fucking that's, Pandora. That's my story, really, basically. And I go to a group meeting every Tuesday with a bunch of other guys from here. Sure. And there's guys in there that have their daughter. Ugh. Oh my yeah. god. Their granddaughter. Yeah. And I'm in there with these guys and I and I find and some of these guys have done like 15, 20 years, you know, 25 years. So I didn't have any videos of under, under 12 year old. That's the cutoff. You go down below 12 then I see so you downloaded the videos from the, the LimeWire. That's right. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's the only way you can see them because all, all you can see is the title and you have to download to see what I see. Are. You know it happened back in 2012. I'm still dealing with it. Would you say it's ruined your life? Absolutely. And I'm just happy it didn't happen when I was 25. You didn't have like another 50 years to deal with it. There's a guy right there you could talk to who is, uh, his name is uh, Cass. He has uh, a position in the ministry. And out of nowhere, this angry old man hopped off a golf cart and started storming towards Position him. in the ministry? Are you allowed to be, are you allowed to be in the ministry if you're a sex offender? 10th for the sub, Pac-Man for the sub. Maybe for like the local church or something like that pandora was 2015 yeah well i mean he just said 2012 so now i'm I, i'm understanding why he used fucking lime wire orange for the three it sucks a lot but the schools have a 97 percent uh rate of students going straight to a high up four-year college it's crazy you have to do three tests to get interviewed twice to get in three tests to get interviewed twice to get in a oh, minecraft for the three first time sending this one i ask if you heard that scientists found a new bible chapter what do you mean scientist? Oh, like dug up? Like people that are like digging in the ground and shit? Richie for the sub, Pac-Man for the sub. New Bible chapter. Scientists' new Bible chapter. A hidden chapter of the Bible text written more than 1,500 years ago. They uncovered the scripture uh, after applying ultraviolet light to a manuscript about ancient Christian stories and hymns housed at the Vatican Library. But if it was written 1,500 years ago, that still wasn't then, right? In stuff for the five. I don't know. Uh, I can't send bits. Uh, you just did. They love for the sub, low for the three. Joe, I got sent uh, CP on a Discord once, and it made me throw my PC out of the window. Uh, block whoever the fuck sent you that and report that. Uh, and oh, my God. Dill for the three. I was talking to this girl, and her mom is really strict, and she said she wasn't allowed to date anybody. Uh, and then when... People asked why we weren't dating anymore. I told my mom, uh, I told them her mom wouldn't let her. Then she got mad at me for blaming her mom. They love for the sub. Hey there. I mean, that's you? not really so your, your fault for blaming her mom. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say, oh, the mom won't let us or some shit, but like, what? I uh, just asked what your motivation is. Oh, okay, well, there's no animosity. Um, but you are on private property. Okay. There's a process where you got a petition to come on board. Okay. We've been here 14 years, being men who get out of prison. And there's just a procedure because there are a lot of people who want to do hatchet jobs. Okay. You know, that either makes you're sense. here to help the situation or just please stay the hell away and make yeah. your own opinions. Okay. It's not a regular community. No Let's halt it for today. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sorry guys. So I did just that. Stopped filming, went to sleep, and drove right back in the morning and stumbled upon this guy going for a walk. Hey, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, he came you... back the next day? Down to share your story if I ended up here. Personally, I'm not attracted to kids. Yeah. Florida. I also feel like, do, does, do you think he knows that he's being filmed right now? I feel like Tyler's cameraman is, like, kind of far away. Was... He's in the same outfit. So do you think it's not the next day? No, nah, he's in different pants. He's in different pants. Florida's laws are so damn stupid. There are about 80% of the people out here who are sex offenders. Okay, so did you get on some false charges or what? No, well, kind of. I got charged with possession of child pornography. I was using a file sharing program. It was LimeWire Network. 
because... Did they all use LimeWire or some shit? The government uses them as... Bro, chat, stop taming flex. They love for the sun. There it is. Spyware. Like a sting operation? Pretty much. I remember this real well, even though it was years ago. I was looking at it. Porn video. Typed in actress's name. And it was a bunch of... So I deleted it automatically. So the final names were lies. But Broward County, one of the worst counties in the country. They're the ones who arrested me. I mean, me. why was he using lime wire? Is... Is, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. I don't know if I'm going to ask. I'm going to Google this. I'm, I'm going to Google this. When was P-Hub introduced? 2007. So, like, why? Like, if he could go on the website, why is he going on LimeWire? What the fuck is I'm good? What is Lime? What is LimeWire? LimeWire was a used to be a P free peer-to-peer -peer file sharing client. So it doesn't exist anymore? What? And people, he would just look up shit and then people would share him files? David for the sub. Still for the uh, for the three. I didn't know. I, I know, dude. I didn't understand why she was so mad. Uh, David for the sub. Lil Vex for the three. Who uses LimeWire that's so old? I didn't even know what it was. Position of child pornography. When was no. YouTube invented? What? 2009? 2008? I have a mental injury. Am I wrong? What's your mental injury? I was in a car accident. They charged me 20 counts of possession of child pornography. 2005? YouTube was not invented in 2005, <laughs> chat. Oh, it was 2005. Fuck. When did people start posting on YouTube? I thought the earliest YouTubers were like 2010. Or not 2010, like 2008. Nine, maybe. Lawyer got, got it all the way down to five, but he said he couldn't get it any farther down. They also lied and said they caught me with recording equipment and other crap like that. Oh, for the, the kid? Yeah. That's not the case. But I couldn't do that. My, my lawyer got that erased. So how long did you end up in prison? A year and ten months. Okay. And you've been here for how many years? Eight years. Got it. Florida is so damn stupid. I'm a sex offender for life. Okay. And you're not attracted to the kids? God, no. Got it. Just you downloaded files on accident? On accident, yeah. Okay. Like 20 times? Originally, they charged me 20. My lawyer got it down to six. That's a good lawyer. So how was prison as a sex offender? How do they remove... 20 counts to 6 counts. Like, isn't a lawyer just proving innocence or or something? Like, how do you how are you going from 20 to 6? I don't understand. Like, what is he doing? I don't know. Saul Goodman? He's not Saul Goodman. Little Vex for the three. Why does he sound like he's dying? I don't know. Maybe the car accident. Too deep for the sub. Aaron for the sub. Sloppy for the sub. It might be a throat issue. Something was, like that. It wasn't good. All right. Maybe well, he's a smoker or something After like that. This you don't really disturbing know. interview. I ran into someone who lived in the sugar fields before these sex offenders all started moving down here. Did you work in the sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure it was coming, coming from around here, the back there. Okay. And they come to me and they, um, they hand me a, a paper. What did the paper say? And he said, um, sex offender when we live in behind you. Yeah, they say if I have any problem, just call them. Okay. And that's what it. So you haven't called? No, no. You've never had a problem? I, 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 no problem, so I don't call. And after learning that this land was seemingly overrun by this community of sex offenders, I then ran into this guy. But not everybody that lives there is a sex offender. something even more unsettling. So you're not a sex offender? No. Anybody can live here. You okay. got kids or anything. But he's oh. filming him through the fucking lens of... Or not the lens, the mirror of your fucking car. Well, kids live here too? Yeah, there's kids on that other street over there. I know some of them. Okay. But I don't, I don't hang around them much. I know that guy on the end there. You could probably talk to him. And when I walked over to where this guy directed me, I stumbled into the most disturbing story yet. That's some spy shit. I think they had to. I think every t he was originally like if when you were look up in the beginning, he, the cameraman was like right there. I think Tyler had begun to realize, like, okay, if they have a camera, they're not going to talk to me. But isn't it, like, couldn't, I, I don't want to say couldn't they sue Tyler, but aren't you not allowed to film people without their permission and, like, profit off of it? Bob from the, uh, for the sub. Well, I don't know if this video is age-restricted or fucking demonetized, but. 
Because like, he's sitting back. I don't think this guy can see the camera. I mean, maybe. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, I don't do you think have to see be the a sex offender to live here? No. You don't have to be a sex offender to live here. No. Got it. So not everyone here is a sex offender. No. Is he a sex offender? Yeah. They're in public. Yeah, I don't think. But oh uh, well, you can film in public wherever you want. Yeah, but it, it, they're no, they're not in public. They're on his fucking house. Chat. Are you a sex offender? Yeah. What's your story? Got out after 21 years. This is the only place that would give me a chance. Oh, okay. Does everyone have crazy stories out here? Or it's just no, strange. No, yeah. there's everything from on the road. Maybe got drunk. Download the, the cameraman thing. isn't on private property. Yeah, but the recording and everything, I don't know. Yeah. And there'd be- I, 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 I'm assuming Tyler will be fine, right? Because I, Tyler's been in the YouTube game for a while. I think he knows if interviewing people's allowed or not. But I'm just like, that. the reason the cameraman's sitting so far back is because this guy probably would be like, no, I'm not going to talk to you if he sees that he has a fucking dude with a fucking uh, movie-sized camera. It's someone just that was in it. Yeah. You know, I know one guy, two months later, the sheriff's office came in, busted his door down, his computer. Another month later, they came back and arrested him because they found eight pictures that were Just eight yeah. downloads. Yeah, we got eight and a half years. But P. Marsh what, for the 490 yeah. biddies, Bob for the sub, Marm, a mammarian for the three. Can't believe I missed the Mr. Beast video. Also, the fact that people still have their kids living there is actually fucking insane. Uh, well, it's also just like, dude, they might not be able to move. So, yeah. I'm going to yeah. yeah. Or it okay. might be somebody that is a sex offender's kids. I got it. Yeah, I young. Bro, this really is a fucking, um, this really is a fucking Twitch scam. Does anybody remember when, like, a year and a half ago, I cash-apped a motherfucker $3 for food? And I was like, dude, this better be real. And he responded. And he was like, bro, I'm serious. But now it's like, it's so specific, right? It's not like, like, a year and a half ago, I cash-apped a motherfucker $3 for a sandwich. But every, like, week, like, three or four people that are, like, bot accounts that make their account very new. And it's a real person. Like, this guy's listening to me talk to him. It's not just, like, a bot. But, like, he's at, he's going to fucking ask me for $3. And then I would send him 3 bucks. But I don't think he needs the $3. Because every day, it's, like, every week, there's, like, three or four accounts that ask specifically for $3 for food. And it's a new account every time. The 709 for the sub. I think he's trying to revive the joke. He's been following me. He manifest. He created his account fucking two weeks ago. There was never a joke. I don't think he's reviving a joke. I think he's just saying that. Papa Joe, stop exposing me. I do need it. See, like he's saying, I do need it. Clown LMAO. Oh, maybe he was just joking. Don't joke about needing money for food. That's not funny. Colbs for the sub, the 709 for the fucking sub. Lil Vex for the three, can you yell loud? No. Redeem the channel point redemption. Do I ban him for that? I do need it. I'm poor. But then can you explain why you and every other fucking Twitch account asks me for exactly $3 for food, and they only accept the money through Cash App, which is the fucking most used app for, like, drug transactions and things that you don't want to be seen. Why do you need it? For, why, why is it $3? Why is it Cash App? And why is it this? It's the same message over and over from different accounts. How do I know you're not the same guy I sent three dollars to fucking a year and a half ago? It's all it's all me on different accounts. That is nuts. I'm banning you. Why are you doing that? It's the same guy, dude. For the last year and a half. And why do you always ask for three dollars? Dude, you've come on you you've had to have made 20 accounts in my chat. Dude, this you're the same guy always. I be eating good with it though, like shit I couldn't eat, I stack it and get something good. But then you're just getting people to send you money so you could go eat out. Mercy for the 3. Love the videos uh and edits of you, I don't care. Uh if you don't want uh 
but can you look at my TikTok account? Made a bunch of edits of you. Cyclops for the sub. Uh, and Aaron for the four. Who are you talking to? Who are you taking, Zucker, Zuckerberg or Musk? Is that fight actually happening, chat, or is that is that not a thing now? I thought they called it off. I see the edit. Thank you for making edits of me, but I I'm not I'm not spending time watching edits right now. I want to get back into the reacts today. Uh, it's called hustling. Well, it's called your band in my chat. I understand it's called hustling, but you're hustling people by convincing them that you're dirt poor, so they send you money because you're saying you're gonna fucking starve, and then you just get fucking forty dollars and go buy fucking a steak. And I was uh, for it. Okay. Uh, well, she got mad because I went and uh, uh, let my wife come back. Oh. And my wife. Uh, I see. How old were you at the time? Thirty. No, forty. So okay, when that happens, is that like your life's ruined yeah. after that? Yeah. yeah. Did you lose job opportunities and stuff? <laughs> I lost everything. Okay. I lost my job. I lost people who I thought were friends. Sure. And Dill Dil for the three. Dude, the same girl I was talking about, the one whose mom is strict, wants to play Raft now. But said she can't talk to me. This shit's mad confusing. The state for the four. What's your favorite kind of Zaza? I don't really have one. Okay. We're more of a family. Like, there's strains I like, but I don't really have a favorite strain of food. Okay. Or not food. Here. Favorite strain of weed. You know, we try to watch out for each other, yeah. take care of each other. And you get out of jail with nothing. Sure. I was 40. Okay. When I came out, I was 60, almost 62. The only people that helped me when I got out were guys that I met in prison. Okay, if you could go back in time, you obviously wouldn't do it, I imagine, right? Of course not. Sure. That'd be really stupid. Sure. You know? Did you know the consequences going into that relationship, do you think? I knew there'd be consequences. If you got but, caught. But I didn't think they would be quite as harsh. Sure. Did the girl disclose her age to you? Oh, and I knew she was a... You knew. But the same, yeah. the same girl yeah. crawled into bed with me, took her clothes off, and oh. crawled into bed with me. Sure. But I'm, I'm, I r So you got r charges. Yeah. It's bad well, because it's statutory rape. It's, it, it's it, that's what it is, right? It's, it's statutory rape because if you're, if you're, do, even if they're saying yes, it's, they're under, like, they're underage to the point, they're, they don't have, the, if they're not at the age of consent, like, I don't know what the age of consent is in the state that he got charged, but if they're under that age, they can't, they can't legally say yes. Poop for the three. You need money, uh, go get a job, they're free, stop begging in Twitch chat, L chatter. Uh, brick for the sub. I don't think he's an L chatter if he needs money. It's an L chatter that he's claiming what he's doing is hustling so he can get a fuckload of money so he can buy food. Like that's that's like nice or whatever. Like that's hustling. Mamarian for the for the sub. Asking for help isn't bad, but like him coming to my chat in like thirty different accounts and being like, I need money just so he can scam people to give him money. Uh and then buy a bunch of fucking nice ass food. Like that's that's just taking money from other people. That's what I see. Yeah. How's your lawyer? When you don't Bad. when it yeah. seems Here's like you don't like need it. I don't really know for sure. Murderers, right? Sure. Dude, I have good friends that were murdered. So this chick crawls into bed with you naked. How old is she? Uh, she's 13. She's 13. But the problem was, yeah. I wasn't the first. She wasn't the first. She ran, ran, got in my bed. Got it. So, okay, let me ask good you this. Behavior. How did you meet the 13-year-old? She lived in the neighborhood I was in. Oh, okay. And I had a daughter. Okay. Did the daughter know her? Yeah, the daughter knew. That's the reason she so came over the house. Friend. And, yeah, but the do my daughter was gone. She was with other so friends. your daughter's friend gets naked in bed with you. Yeah. You guys have yeah. Like, How old was he when he said it? When he said it happened, he had a wife and kids, right? Forty. He had a wife and kids, and he did it. Oh my god, that's not like some bullshit where it's like, okay, yeah, he was like, like fucking, like like fucking twenty. I mean, it'd still be fucked, but it's like, dude, he had a wife and children. His kid might have been that old. If he was forty years old, his kid might have been old as the girl. If you're 40 years old. More than once? I'll break a month and a half. Got it. This is a continued affair. Go and see my wife had left. Got it. Okay. He good. said the kids were friends. Wait, did he? The daughter know her? Yeah, the daughter knew. That's right. Oh my God. It was the kid's friend. Oh my God.
his daughter's friend he got with. Taco for the sub. Mez for the three. Any thoughts or comments about actor strike and Hollywood basically shutting down? I haven't really looked into that. I know there was a writer strike, but then I was told that there was an actor strike as well. Uh, Lil Vex for the three says, tell that dude to hit me up. I'll give him money. And Ray for the four. Uh, my daughter was gone. She was uh, with other friends. Your daughter's friend gets in bed with you. Yeah. You guys have sex. Yeah. Like more than once? I'll uh, like a month and a half. Got it. This is a continued affair. You like, want to see my wife had left. Got it. Okay. But she's from the neighborhood and yeah. she came over all the time and, and I was just at home alone one day. I see. But she had already made insinuations. Sure. So have you spoken to that girl after prison? She wrote me for the first three years in really? prison. Really? Wow. Why did okay. he have to bleep the word insinuation? But I can't get a hold of her. You legally, can, legally? Legally. If you're on probation, yeah. you cannot get a hold of your victim. So let me ask you this. Did you ever talk to your daughter again after that? Sure. Yeah? You guys have a decent relationship? Yeah. My daughter, my son. Got it. Of course, Max wife. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It, it destroy, really does destroy your life. It's written right on your license. Dude, your dad having sex with your best friend when you're, when you're fucking 13? Oh, my God. Oh my god. That is nuts. Got it. So what ideally. are you actually going to be doing? I, and, and any chance? Yeah. And he said she wrote him while he was in prison. For three years. Hold up. I got to check the TikTok. I pull up TikTok and it's Jinxy screaming at the top of his lungs. My god. Okay. W Jenks facts. That you're recording anything? Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip. <gasps> that you're recording anything? Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube. Zussy. Zussy. Hashtag Tyler Oliveira. Short using a clip from this video, I'll send you five hundred dollars. Post whoever five hundred dollars. Many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler. Bro, Tyler has a fucking TikTok. Since when did Tyler Oliveira have a fucking TikTok? I gotta follow that motherfucker. Wow, I did not know he had a fucking TikTok account. Yo, that is nuts. We just saw Zussi. Yo, W Zussi in the fucking chat, though. All right. Hold up. When did I last post? Not even an hour ago. Okay. We're going to go next, Fed. We still got three more, though. I think. Yeah. We might, eh, we should be able to get through all of them. Uh, right for the sub. All right, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. All right, everybody lock back in next vid. We're going it. I'm reading a group chat. Bro, my friend says he wants to go at 6.30. Ain't no way I'm going at 6.30. Uh, all right. Next, Fed. Toaster for the three. Uh, Milky for the three and Jet 80 biddies. Uh, Almighty Joseph, please give me wisdom. For what? You are, Why U.S. malls are dying and why European malls aren't? Exter. This video is sponsored by Exter. Welcome to the 1990s, the former Eastern Bloc, a beautiful, wealthy... Yo, we don't even need to see this video for me to tell you why fucking U.S. malls are dying. Name the stores in U.S. malls. Lids. GameStop. American Eagle. Wow, it's almost as if any of the good stores, like the clothing stores, I could buy that shit online. Or any of the other stores are fucking ass. Spencer's. Yeah, they got Spencer's. Chick-fil-A? That's not in the mall. Inspiring place left behind by the dying, retreating Russian Empire. Suppose you wanted to do some shopping. Where will you go? Oh, I know. Those beautiful Soviet-era shopping centers seen by many on those Soviet retro-themed social media pages. Full of the finest wares of the Eastern Bloc. 
Uh, sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face there. No, if you wanted to do shopping, you did not the in fact- The good store is the Lego store? Yeah, you got a nice ass mall near you. You got a fucking Lego store? Go to the shopping center. Finna go to sleep, got zero sleep last night because my girl takes up the entire bed, says a little vex for the three, and Mac Jack for the seven. Enter. Instead, you went where the rest of society went, to dismal outdoor markets, selling vegetables, knockoff clothing, homemade food preserves, and so on, from cars, vans, often entire buses. It was chaotic, dirty, loud, often taking place on random sidewalks or in underpasses. Early malls. As you milled around the makeshift stands in the crowd, looking at the knickknacks being sold, people haggling, old women counting coins in their hands, you thought of a photo you saw of an American shopping center. You called it a shopping center because you did not have a word for it yet. That is, the mall. Beautiful, clean, air-conditioned, full of Western stores and their wares, fast food restaurants like McDonald's and others you've never even heard about, people strolling around wearing the latest fashion. Surely all of them are drinking Coca-Cola. Strolling around wearing the latest fashion? You go into the mall today? You go into the mall today? Dude, no one goes to the fucking mall. You go to like, uh, I'm not talking a big mall. I'm not talking about like the American Dream Mall or some shit or King of Prussia or one of those big ass ones. A lot of people go there. I'm talking about like a local mall. You go to a damn, you go to a damn local mall, dude. You are literally finding five other people in that entire mall. No one goes to the mall anymore. No one, like at all. And pep I will say though, the mall when you're alone is peaceful. Am I wrong? Like if I walk into a mall and it's like fucking say 5, 6 p.m. in midwinter and it's dark out and I'm just kind of walking through and they got like the, the nice music playing. Like some people think it's creepy. I think it's peaceful. I love going to a mall when no one's there. Like, I, I honestly hate when there's a shitload of people at the malls because then you're waiting in lines. There's, like, you're bumping by people. There's so many people trying to get shit. Whereas, like, when you're alone, it's like, yeah, all the stores are doing really bad revenue-wise, but, like, that's not your problem, and you're having a nice time. H3 for the sub. She cola too, not this piss water they sell around here. Palm trees, fountains, colorful lights. You're pretty sure there is American rock music playing in the background too. You don't know, it was a photograph. Your thoughts are interrupted as you look down and realize you've stepped into shit and an old lady is yelling at you to move from her stand if you ain't buying anything. The shopping mall was the ultimate symbol of 1990s Western prosperity, and it wasn't long before they spread through Europe too, including the former Eastern Bloc. Today, malls in places like Budapest, Prague or Warsaw are basically indistinguishable from is that a fucking six-story mall? One, two, three, four, five, six fucking stories. The biggest mall I've ever been to was three. Fucking six stories on a goddamn mall. That is nuts. How many stores are there? Their modern American counterparts. Except for one thing. That's Malls in your normal? No, the fuck it's not. Europe are thriving, while in the US they are slowly dying out. Why is that? Yeah, that's a mall. That, that's, that's what I see a mall as. Yeah, one person there eating a fucking burrito. People often say it's because of Amazon More and workers than people. Yeah, a lot of people say it's online shopping. I think that's the case for like some stores. Like I, I in all honesty, I think GameStop is entirely unneeded. Uh, it was it's very nostalgic walking into a GameStop. But it, like when was the last time y'all bought a game at a GameStop? Like that shit's useless because if you're going to buy the game in DVD or disc form, just buy it on Amazon. And if you're going to buy it, ugh, in general, you would just buy it online and just download it. I'll still walk into a GameStop. I'll still walk into a GameStop. I'm not going to buy anything. Six years ago, I feel like the last time I bought a game at GameStop was like one of the Pokemon games that I wanted to play again when I was like 14. So like seven years ago. Baseball for the three. Maybe uh, it's because I'm in Florida. Malls are always packed as fuck. K for the sub. You said I missed your other bits. Uh, do you recognize usual chatters if you see somebody's name? I might recognize them. Not always. Pursuant for the three. Uh, racked into my TikTok with a dead fish in the bathtub. Did you take the video down? No, it got taken down for animal abuse. Uh, and I got a strike. Which is lovely, right? Because I bet your video's still up. Uh, but my video got taken down for animal abuse, uh, which is fucking astonishing. Uh, Pwali for the for the sub, Adonis, Think, and Lay for the sub, Mopes for the three. Start earning money, wanted to port, uh, support the channel. Thank you, Lovax for the three. Will you recognize me? I don't know. 
and online commerce, but Europe has those too. Is In all honesty, when chatters asked me that, it's really annoying, right? Do I recognize a lot of chatters' names? Maybe. Like, it depends on the chatter, right? But for the most part, no. And like, when a chatter's like, do you recognize my name? It's annoying as fuck, right? Did it purchase it? When was the last time you saw me? And have you, have you recognized me? Like, no. I don't know, right? I, I'll recognize sometimes, right? Like some like like Cookie PTD, I recognize their name. Fiddlebanks, he's my fucking mod. Like it depends on who. Gorilla Glue Daddy, Dallas B. Like I, your name seems familiar. I'm not going to remember it if I just stopped streaming randomly. But I would be like, oh yeah, I've seen you in my chat. Sammy for the five gifteds. I would be like, yeah, I've seen you in my chat, but I'm not gonna recognize your name necessarily. Thank you for the five gifteds. And bro. The state of Ohio for the fucking $50 hype chat. Stop sending me hype chats. Thank you for the fucking $50. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking dono, dude. And online commerce, but Europe has those too. Is it a purchasing power issue? But how? America is the richest country on the planet. Lots of full wallets over there. Though sometimes those wallets need replacement and additional company. This is where Exter comes in with the... <laughs> <laughs> So the most common argument cited for the death of US malls is online commerce. The fact that people are now able to order from the internet from the comfort of their homes. And sure, online commerce didn't exactly help malls, but as I mentioned, online commerce is also very much present in Europe and malls over there are doing fine. So I'm comfortable stating that the decline of US malls is not because of online commerce. Though if he says obesity, I'm going to fucking die. Certainly didn't help. And so I've identified- People are too lazy to go outside and fucking buy something three actual key reasons which we will go through now including the last one which no one talks about what are the three reasons why people don't go to malls anymore in the u.s obesity time constraints and laziness but, but is absolutely crucial in my opinion. In fact, that might be the most important reason for the death of u.s malls and yet people seem to ignore it. So the distance yeah. Because, like, in Europe, isn't everything close? Like, if you're in the U.S., some shit's far as fuck. Master and I nice for the sub, leave for the three. I usually watch uh, your streams on YouTube regardless of the streams uh, and all that you do. Sometimes look forward, uh, something to look forward at the end of the day. Yeah. They're very close. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how far is your nearest mall, chat? Like, I would say the average person's going to say, like, 20 minutes. In Europe, it's probably, like, three. Let's go through the reasons. Purchasing power. Malls are only alive as long as they have customers who can afford to buy their stuff. And in the US, this isn't the case everywhere. Entire regions lost their well-paying jobs as industry went offshore. Looking at the central US today, those libertarians weren't joking. Yeah, mall, like a mall isn't a place where you're going to buy stuff you need. It's a place where you buy stuff you want, right? Like some people might just not be going to malls because, yeah, they're not making enough. They're still shopping at like Home Depot, but for like stuff they fucking need. Like the you're free going to a mall if you're willing to waste money. Market really took care of those regions. As high paying jobs left, so did many people. Those who stuck around were considerably poorer. This and video sucks. All right, we'll see you in 10 minutes when it's over. Bye. Often couldn't keep many of the malls alive. So did this happen in Europe? Well, not really. European economies are built differently, especially those in the EU. Yes, there is a competitive capitalist market, but with important quirks. To illustrate this, let me talk about trains for a moment. A couple of weeks ago, I went hiking to the Czech Republic. First, I took a train from Leipzig to Chemnitz, where I met my friend. The next day, we took another train to Dresden. Both of these trains were operated by a company called Transdev. Then we went on to Liberec on a train operated by the company Die Lenderbahn. Finally, from Liberec, we took the train operated by Arriva to Zelezny Brod, so private rail operators all the way. Or were they? Arriva is owned by Deutsche Bahn, the German state railway. Die Lenderbahn is a Trenitalia subsidiary, which is the Italian state railway. And Transdev is majority owned by the French government. And these state Damn, owned- Damn, dude, my head just fuck. Yo, what the fuck was that? You ever get like a random fucking absurdly painful pinch in your head? Oh my god, it worries me so much. But it's it's not even here anymore. It was just out of nowhere. Dude, I was watching that video, and right here, it was just like somebody stabbed me in the temple. It just went, and I blinked. My god. I also for the sub. And I worry about that shit, too, because I feel like that's a brain aneurysm. And then it's just like a brain aneurysm is that happens, and then you just die.
for the 10, the state of Ohio, the malls in Ohio are just drug deal spots. Well, I mean, I think all malls are drug deal spots. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, or as I wanted to say, why does the United States not have a good train system? Like, it would make transportation everywhere so much easier and just, like, not as pollution, not as, like, polluting, no more, not as much traffic. Like, if we had, like, a fucking New York to California railway, like, quick, it'd be so, it'd be so much better. There's no, there's not, we don't have the money. Yes, we do. We have, the U.S. has the money. They just don't want to fucking put the money towards it. Because people are fucking lazy. That's the, that's the problem. Or not people are lazy. The United States doesn't want to put the money towards it. We have the money. I also for the sun. When companies compete in free market tenders across the EU, where they try to offer the best price they can to local governments to provide- The US debt is like two quadrillion dollars. Every company's in, or every uh, country's in debt. Fun fact. Every country's in debt. Uh, you have to be in debt to be able to grow to a degree. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into the explanation of that. But if a country is in no debt and they're not like adding on debt, they're not really doing financial things, right? Like you could be in a trillion in debt or not a trillion. You could like a country could be like 50 billion in debt and like they could easily pay it off. But like they don't because those are in investments or something like they're in debt to their people. Like, if you invest into treasury bills, your government is technically in debt to you. The United States, on the other hand, is in an, absurd, an, an, in an absurd amount of debt, which we will never pay back. Ah, uh, oh, for the three. Got paid, so I wanted to show the appreciation. Uh, been watching on YouTube for a while. Oh, I already read that. Wait, I feel like I read... Did you send that donation twice? I feel like I just read that. Been watching on streams a lot more recently. You've helped me so much mentally and wanted to show my appreciation. Maybe my fucking head hurting there was me getting sent back in time 30 seconds. Wide rail service on a given line, usually anyway. It's an interesting mixture of the private and the publicly owned. It's like a state capitalist free market, and it seems to be working pretty well. All this is to illustrate European economies work differently and aren't subject to the same types of shocks the US economy is. With very few exceptions, European purchasing power has been rising across the board, even in Central and Eastern Europe, the poorer parts indicated by this chart. And this increase has been more geographically even compared to the US, so there aren't any continent sized, newly appeared economic black holes like the Rust Belt, or such enormous, unaffordable affordable urban areas like on the west coast. Also in Eastern Europe, major regional economic depressions happened before malls. Blah, going to the next reason, oversupply. American malls are exotic in the sense that there are so many of them. Copious amounts of commercial space was built out in the form of enclosed That's malls. facts. If there was like, how many malls are in a state? How many malls are in New Jersey? 559 malls. If there were 200, way more people would go. There's too many malls, and half of them suck. Outdoor mall. Like, most malls have shitty-ass stores. Every mall has a fucking Lids, a GameStop, a fucking American Eagle, or some shit like that. Then you go to the nice malls, and they got a fucking Calvin Klein. They got a fucking, they got a fucking, uh, they got a fucking Gucci store. They got a fucking Apple store, right? Those are the nice malls that people actually fucking show up to. Sean for the 10 gifted. Thank you for the 10 gifted, Sean. Uh, 10 gifted subs, Sean V 2002 thank you for the fucking subs there. Appreciate the fucking subs. Meme star for the three, says you missed my biddies. Uh, thank you for the 10 gifted though, Sean. Meme, I don't see your bits. Oh, there they are. When are you going to react to the Mr. Beast video? Already did, you missed it. Sean for the fucking 10 gifted. Power centers, lifestyle centers, and so on. Consequently, there is a lot more commercial space per capita than in Europe. A lot more. Like 10 times more than Germany, for example. And in German cities where there is an oversupply, like Chemnitz, the city I've recently talked about, you get the same mall deaths. But Chemnitz is an exception because those malls and shopping centers used to have a demand base. It's just that following the fall of the Berlin Wall, people started leaving for former West Germany and suddenly there was a commercial oversupply. But such a situation couldn't happen otherwise in Europe, as regulations that govern building new commercial space are far more stringent than in the US. Yes. Libertarians call this. Do you think? Do you think like how many how many malls percentages of U.S. malls will not exist in like ten years? I'd say like twenty percent of all American malls in the next twenty years don't exist because there's already malls that don't exist, right? Or haven't in the last five years. You probably have a mall near you or in your state that you've heard of that probably closed because like it went out of business. 
Lord for the 10. Me and my family moved into our house because it was next to a mall and then it closed. You moved to a you moved into your house because of the sole reason that it was next to a mall. What an odd reasoning to move into a house. Government red tape crippling the economy, while adults call it necessary regulations to avoid mass closures and urban decay. The large number of US malls also means they are of lower quality and more mass produced. And Take a look at this shit. one, the former Metro Center Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. Why is it falling apart like that? <laughs> What material did they use? Cardboard? If any country builds that many malls, it is inevitable that many of them will end up cheap and mass produced. What's one mall store that you never see anybody walk into? Outside of lids. Spencer's? Nah, I see people walk into Spencer's. Claire's? Nah, people walk into Claire's. I was gonna say, like, a Sears. Well, see, does Sears even exist? Sears, Skechers, and Boscovs. Like, no one goes into a fucking Boscovs. Like, none. Gap? Yeah, Gap as well. American Eagle people go into. I'll go into American Eagle, buy some jeans. Megan for the three. It was, it was actually done on a purpose. There was more profit to be made in many comp components of a car than railroads. Yeah. Both inside and outside. But railroads are more efficient for people. Both far. architecturally and in terms of what they offer. I know and it was done on purpose. It's not a shock that a, a capitalist country did it on purpose. I'm saying now it's 2023. Build a fucking railroad. Mass-produced, standardized, consumerist bullshit just isn't something people look for nowadays. Compare the Metro Center Mall to, say, Palladium in the center of Prague. This is the facade of the mall. That's a real historical building into which they integrated the whole thing and it continues on behind. It's a well-made building and the interior is also high quality. It's actually right across an old Soviet-era shopping center too, so that's a neat callback to the start of the video. But Palladium is a positive example in something else as well. The third reason why US malls are dying. Namely... Bad urban planning. I'm bored. I'm leaving this. Mom found out I'm a genius. Hi. That I was the longest pause of my life. Hi. That is not four seconds. Chat. Hi. What? I that is not. Oh, it's six. No, it's on. It's, it was five. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. You get bored too fast. I don't get bored too fast. That video was just fucking unentertaining. My chat gets bored fast. I watch a lot of educational shit. I'll watch educational shit here. My chat just doesn't like it, though, for the most part. Mom found out I'm a genius. I'm Elisa. I'm the eldest of three daughters and clearly mom's and, favorite. Uh, somewhat of a child prodigy. Mm -mm. I found out at a very young age, I was just different from everybody else. Favorite. I don't think any mom on this planet has ever loved a daughter like mine loves me. But before I continue, please like and subscribe. Mom loved me more than my sisters because I was smart and, well, they were kind of dumb. When I was in the third grade, mom started screaming at them at the parent- Boring ass video. Yo, you ain't even fucking give this one a shot. Yo, shut the fuck up and just watch the fucking video, dude. Oh my god, these videos are purposefully cringe. It's funny to make fun of them. Well, they're not purposefully cringe. They're trying not to be cringe. I think they're fucking cringe. Parent teacher meeting because they'd failed every subject. Why are you such dummies? What have I done wrong that God is punishing me by giving me daughters like you? But when my turn came, my teachers couldn't stop praising me. Yes, I thank God every day for giving me a dog. Teachers fucking pat! Teachers pat! Teachers pat much! Oh, you volunteer after school to fucking put the chairs back? Fuck you! For the 50! The state of Ohio, stop sending me fucking $50 hype chats! You should watch the new Tommy G video with Punch Made Dev. Punch Made Dev. Who the hell is Tommy G? Oh, this guy. Oh, most infamous scammers? I'll watch that on Sunday.
I have that in my uh, watch later. We'll watch that on Sunday. Remind me. Thank you for the 50, dude. I'm Kylie for the sub. Uh, Faux Army for the sub. Dill for the three. Have a nice day. Thank you. And thank you for the 50, dude. Daughter like Elisa. Her sisters are such an embarrassment. Suddenly, Bella grabbed a chair and flung it at me, and it missed me by an inch. Mom grounded her and said she couldn't have dinner that night till she wrote, please forgive me, dear sister, a thousand times. But when Bella gave me the paper... Bro, there's no way... You... How long would that take? Please forgive me, dear sister, a thousand times. Please forgive me, dear sister. Five, that's 5,000 handwritten words. It said, I'll get you next time, witch. One day, some guests were coming over, and Mom asked me to make my amazing lemonade. When I served it to them, they all took one sip and spat it out, coughing like crazy. Good God, that's disgusting. It tastes like soap. Wait, what? That Bella must have done something to it. See, Mom? I keep telling- Who the fuck is telling these stupid-ass fucking stories? Who the fuck is, is writing these stories for my story fucking animated? These dumb motherfuckers. This is the dumbest story. I don't give a fuck. Oh, she put soap in the lemonade. Oh, oh my God. Really? Really? You, Elisa hates you. I don't know why you love her. I can do everything better. Shut up, Bella. Elisa just made a mistake. I mean, And how she's the fuck you fail fucking second grade, dumbass? What did you, what did you fail, coloring class? How the hell, what fucking subjects? You failed English. She doesn't know, what are you not, how are you failing English class? You're not learning anything. She's perfect. Even perfect people can make mistakes sometimes. Go be useful for once and go get us some coffee, Elisa. When you get held back in like first grade, they hold you back because you have like attention problems and shit. They're not holding you back at first grade because you did bad in math. Dude, it's like five plus two. Uh, darling, you can go back to studying now. Bella looked livid. While the rest weren't watching, she spat in my face. I tried to push her away, but she ran- she put, she put a ricin strip on my arm. I only had 24 hours to live. <gasps> but because I'm a child genius, I knew how to get it out of my body. I cut my arm off. And off. What a witch. But thank God, Vienna was- Just say bitch. Just say bitch. Nothing like her. She and I were really close, and while I was busy studying, she was always taking care of me. I adored her. When I was in the eighth grade, I'd saved up my pocket money for months trying to buy Mom a lovely sweater for Christmas, and she loved it. But when I went downstairs the next morning, I found Bella warming her hands in front of the fire, and Mom's sweater was burning in the flames. Oh my god, Bella, what did you do? I was cold and we were out of wood. And I like watching things burn. And I hate you. And you know why I'd get it I'd get in a fist fight with my fucking sibling right there. You're telling me I save up money for months and she just burns the fucking sweater? Yeah, you're getting roundhoused, right? This is gonna be world star in a fucking half, dude. Your head's gonna be split open on the fucking firewood. I hate mom. Maybe one day I'll set your hair on fire while you're both sleeping. I just snapped and attacked her. Oh, there As we, we go. were wrestling on the floor, mom and Vienna came World running in. Star. And when mom found out, she totally lost it. Bella, you're a mother's worst nightmare. You don't have looks or brains or any good qualities. Damn. And Yo, bro, that's genetics, though. <laughs> You don't have looks. Bitch, you're my mom. Like, bitch, I look like you. What? What do you mean? Bella, you're a mother's worst nightmare. You don't have looks or brains or any good qualities. Yeah, that's also, like, in part how you raise your kid. And you're so jealous of your sister because you'll never be what she is. You'll always be a failure. I'm going to send you away to your aunt. I was really mad at Bella, but I didn't want that. No, Mom, please don't. We're a family, and we have to stay together. I forgive her, okay? I don't remember asking you for forgiveness, witch. Bella pushed past me and stormed out. Mom wept for hours over her sweater. After Mom's threat to send her away, Bella was careful not to do something too obvious, 
but I could just sense her hatred grow. I always had a feeling she was plotting against the rest of us. When I was in the 11th grade, we had a cousin's wedding to attend, and I was her maid of honor. As soon as we entered the hall, our relatives surrounded us. Oh, Elisa, darling, I want you to meet my daughter. I'm always saying I want her to be just like you. We hear all about your wonderful achievements from Yo, your mother. the dick riding is crazy, bro. Oh my god. No fucking, what is she, a fucking Einstein? Yo, that is actually nuts. You're telling me. You're telling me she goes to a wedding and every fucking person in the family is like, oh, we want our daughter to be just like you. Like, what? Mother, your daughter is a little Einstein, isn't she? Mom and In Vienna. It's not pre-watched, bro. It's the first person that comes to your head that's smart. Beamed at me proudly, but Bella's lips curled into an evil smile. As she walked past me, she accidentally stepped on my foot. Little Einstein, my butt. They'll see who the real genius is one day. What a psycho she was. The bride handed me the wedding rings for safekeeping till the ceremony started. Just then, I realized that Vienna was nowhere to be seen. I was looking for her all over the building when suddenly I heard a faint sound from a storage room. I opened the door to find Vienna on the floor and she was crying. OMG, what happened? Oh, Elisa, thank God you're here. I asked someone where the bathroom was and they sent me here. Then I tripped over something and sprained my ankle really badly. I can't walk. As I helped her up, Crawl! You're telling me you slipped in a closet and you sprained one ankle and you sat there alone for fucking three hours? Like, open the door or hop on one foot, already crawl out, and I'm going to be like, hey, my foot's fucked. I'm for the sub. We suddenly heard the door slam shut behind us and the lock clicked. No matter how hard I pulled, it just wouldn't open. I'm breaking that bitch down. <laughs> as simple as that. As simple as that. You're telling me, number one, it locks from the outside. That's weird. Number two. Number no, number one, what fucking, what closet locks from the fucking outside? That's weird. Number two, uh, I'm kicking that shit the fuck down. I'm breaking it. We kept banging on the door and shouting, but no one heard us. Hours later, the door suddenly burst open, and we saw a policeman standing there with all my relatives behind them. And my cousin leapt forward and started pulling my hair. Elisa, you witch! Where are my rings? You ruined my wedding! Turns out, my cousin- Bitch, I was locked in a clo- That's exactly what I'm saying. Bitch, do you not see that I was just locked in a closet for the last four fucking hours? I ain't lose your damn rings, dumbass. Who locked me in the closet? Cousin thought I'd run away with the rings like some thief. And the wedding didn't happen because everyone had been out looking for me. All our relatives were- Oh my god, so it got postponed a fucking hour and then now, 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 now go fucking redo the wedding. Staring at me like I was some kind of criminal. I had no way to prove it. But of course, I knew Bella was behind sending Vienna to the store. Bro, I feel like it's obvious she didn't steal it if she was literally locked in a fucking closet. And locking us up. A few weeks later, mom came to me one morning and told me about a national level science competition with a first prize of $50,000. She asked me to participate and I signed up immediately. I studied hard for weeks. More than winning the prize, I just cared about making mom's wishes come true. Weeks later, Mom came running up to me with the news that I'd won the competition while we- My lobotomizing of Bella actually gave me first place. We were hugging, Bella turned up and- I performed a lobotomy live. Said, you're jumping for joy just like Elisa is gonna give you all the money. Poor dumb mom. Shut up, Bella. As if I even want my baby's money. It's all for her career. She's going to become a great scientist, remember? Maybe she'll hire you as a cleaner yo, for her- 50 G's post-tax ain't really gonna jumpstart that shit. I mean, like, yo, that's a lot of money, but, like, she still has to go to college. That's, like, one year of college tuition. Kinsey for the sub. In the United States. Science lab. Now, Elisa, 
it's, 50 G's is crazy. Yeah, if you're not going to college. If you, if you're going to if you're going to college after taxes, you got about a year and a half of fucking college payment there. Oh no, but she's a genius. She's going to go to college for free. As here in the letter. So yeah, we'll jump start it. Prize money will be sent in a couple of months, so you'll have to wait a little. Well, seeing mom so happy, I'd already achieved what I wanted. I had applied for NASA's junior space program and I was over the moon when I was selected for a three-month course. Of course, I expected mom to burst with joy, but when she got home, she had some shocking news to share. She'd been laid off from work. I'm so sorry to ruin your amazing news. This should be a really happy day and I'm so proud of you. But how will I manage without a job? How will I send you to the program? Mom, it's a fully paid scholarship, so you don't have to worry about me at all. And the prize money will be here soon too, and you can use it all for your expenses. Oh, darling, I couldn't possibly do that. I'll start looking for a job right away, but thank you for being the most- The hell she get fired for? Amazing daughter in the world. The day I was leaving, Bella wasn't even around to see me off. It's called getting a loan? Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah, yeah, why don't you follow through? Whatever chatter said that. Yeah, when you don't have a job and you need money, get a loan. When you don't have a job and you really need money, just go to the bank, right? They'll give you money. And have no way of paying it off. Mom, Vienna, and I exchanged teary goodbyes, and I left for the airport. I only had my small- No job and no money? Just take 100000 from the bank. They'll be nice when you can't pay when you can't pay the interest things for the next three months So I just have one meal a day and not spend on anything else one I meal a day. Oh fuck. No. Oh Fuck. No, you said your college was covered eat at your fucking dorm, dude. What? Eat at the goddamn food uh, food fucking court Just couldn't ask mom for more money. I was done with my course a few days earlier than I'd expected I bought gifts for my family and decided to go home without telling them I was coming sooner. Poor Elisa didn't know the truth. Bella had killed the entire family. I'm so glad the prize money came before Elisa did. Oh, Mom, you're just wonderful. How you've made that genius a fool all these years? Yes, baby. I am the only one with Einstein's mind. But you're really good, too. Hey. Oh, wow. 50 grand. Y'all got KFC. Also, it's three people with, fi like, they're acting like they're royalty. 50 grand split amongst three people, and she doesn't have a job. Like, you're going to be out of money in, like, eight months. <laughs> like, like, you're going to be out of money, like, quick, right? Because you have to pay uh, for food. Electricity, phone bills, taxes, on the money that she's going to give you. Property taxes, water bill. I could keep going. Insurance, dental bills, doctor checkups. There's a lot of things you have to pay for when you, when, when you have fucking no job and you realize you need to pay for shit. Hey, have you guys forgotten me? Of course not, darling. You're the worst. Your acting is an Oscar-worthy performance. The way you made her believe you're her sweet little sister. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. She has no idea how much I hate her. What a moron. Yes, she is a moron, and so was her mom. And your father, too. He left the child of his affair on my hands and thought I'd raise her like a pr affair princess for nothing. She's about to get back in a few days. Ugh. Oh, don't worry. She'll go away to some university, on a scholarship, of course. After that, she'll be too busy working like a donkey all her life. Yeah, and, and making a fucking bag while y'all work at fucking Hallmark for the rest of your fucking life. Fucking dwindling that 50 G's she gave you fucking 10 years ago. We'll sit back and enjoy. When I got home, I unlocked the door and let myself in. Mom? Vienna? I'm home, guys. The two came running down the stairs and flung their arms around me. Elisa, I've missed you so much. Oh, darling, I can hardly believe my eyes. You have no idea how I've lived without you these past months. 
I was so restless to see you too, Mom. I gave them their gifts, which they both loved. Bella just tossed hers in the dustbin and walked off angrily without a word. I'm just gonna- Yo, you know what I'm not getting? If they're all on- if they're all pulling off an act, why wouldn't Bella be nicer? You would get more money, right? I'm just saying, like, if you want more money out of her, why wouldn't you be nice? Go put my things in my room. What's the rush, Elisa? Just relax for a bit. I'll just be back in a minute. When I entered my room, I was shocked to see money everywhere. The others had followed me upstairs, and they said my prize money had arrived just today. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to deposit this money in my bank right now. Yeah. But is that necessary, dear? I'll just keep it safe at home. Mom, we really need this money, so I... Yo, you know how this is already stupid? They wouldn't give you the money in cash. It would be like a check. Or like wired to your bank. Just can't take any risks. Just let me know whenever you want it for anything. When I came home, Mom took us all out for an amazing dinner. And I was just so happy to be back with my family. A week later, I heard Mom screaming hysterically at someone one morning. And I ran downstairs to find some policemen. Are you out of your mind? How dare you tell me I'm trespassing? Mom, I'm on she ain't pay for the house. Oh, 50 grand? Oh, 50 grand didn't really cover you when you didn't have a job and you had fucking four kids and a three and a, a fucking five bedroom house? Really? That wasn't enough money? On my own property. This is my a three a three acre property with fucking six bedrooms and three children and no job. House, ma'am. Really? Th this notice clearly states that you and your daughters Vienna and Bella are living here illegally, and the rightful owner is <laughs> Miss Elisa. Oh, hello. That's me. And yes, mom. Yo, I swear to God, if they say that she bought the property with the fucking with the fucking prize money, and they're somehow gonna try and say that. 50 grand would buy a fucking five bedroom house. It's true, but. Like, this is the fucking 20s. You already knew that, right? See. What is I... the 20s? The 1920s. Talked to dad's lawyer and saw his will. It turned. You know what's crazy is like, dude, people in the 1920s, I mean, they're all dead now, but uh, people are basically all dead. People in the 20s were just kind of like living and they weren't like thinking about the fact that they live in like the roaring 20s. Like, 50 years from now, people will look back at 2020 and be like, wow, man, like, what would have it been like to live in 2020? And we're all going to be dead, right? Like, 100 years from now, it's it's 2120, 2120, and we're all dead. People are going to be like, wow, dude, imagine living in 2020. Anybody, that was, that was like the, the first pandemic in like a while, that was COVID. People are like, we're kind of like chilling. It was like the start of like social media, short form social media. Stoner thought. That's not really stoner thought. Jordan for the sub. Tommy, you know, for the three. Happy birthday. I love and miss you. Thank you for the fucking uh, 300 bitties, Tommy. And it's not my birthday, bro. Kinsey for the sub. I'm Kylie for the sub. It's not my birthday for another like nine months, man. Turns out that this house is in my name. It's Schwartz for the sub. Somebody just said I'm never going to die. No way. Who here thinks they're going to live the longest? It's not me. All right. Uh, if you want, like, what age do y'all think you're going to die? I think the the latest I live to is 80. I, I realistically, I think I die at, at 76. I think 76 I keel over. Um, Maybe before then. Hopefully after then, right? But, like... I'm given, and I know a lot, of, a lot of people always envision themselves living to like a hundred, right? And they always say 50 is middle-aged. The average American man will die before fucking 75, right? Like how old, how old, how long does an American man live? 76 and a half. But CNB CNBC says it was 73. But women, it's 79. That is crazy. Ireland, it's 85. Vest for the sub, Jacks for the sub. Uh, Wilden for the three. The loan idea was satire, and I'm living the longest because I drink 10 gallons of kombucha every day and smoke that za. Well, smoking that za would kill you quicker. Uh, Dexter for the sub.
which is another reason why I think I'll die sooner. But CTS for the sub. But um, what was I going to say? I think I think U.S. life expectancy is also skewed because of how like how many problems there are with obesity, right? And just like yes, there's like not a high inf uh, infant mortality rate. Places with high infant mortality rate have like lower life expectancy. And even if you look way back in time, right? Like uh, people always say the average lifespan back in fucking BC was like 35. Yeah, like the average life expectancy was 35. But that's because, like, one in four children died at birth. If you lived past the age of, like, 10 in, like, 2000 BC, you you might live to, like, 60. Like, you probably lived, like, 50. Like, you could still live a decent amount. So, I suggest... But I, like, it, realistically, though, like, the majority of the men in this chat, I don't know about women, but the majority of men in this chat will, will including me, will die before 6, 76 you do what the nice officers are saying and just leave. Elisa, how can you talk to me like that? I was going to tell you about the house one day, of yep, course. Yep, damn right. Damn right. Yep. I'll live until 90. I don't think you want to live till 90. Why have you turned against me, my darling? Because I found out you've been against me from the very start. Damn. When I came back from my internship, I heard you all talking in my room. I was standing outside and I heard everything. No, no, you, you misunderstood us. Elisa, let me explain. Just stop this acting now. It's all over. I guess Dad knew you wouldn't take care of me too, Mom. So he decided to do it himself by leaving me this house. <gasps> I really loved you and would have done- Wait, she had the will- Wait, she had the ownership of the- Yo, okay, how dumb does the mom have to be to not know she has the ownership of the house? Or does it have the ownership of the house? Like, what? Anything to make you happy. You played me for a fool, but you made a mistake. I'm good-hearted, but not a fool. They all went down on their knees and begged me for forgiveness, but I just had the policemen throw them out. Soon after, I sold off the house and went where they'd never find me again. I've left everything and everyone in my past behind me, and now I'm living my best life. Wow, yeah, live your best life, boo. Slay, slay, slay queen, slay queen. I was shocked at the end. Felicia Whipple. I was shocked at the end. I thought the mom was playing favorites and Vienna was stuck in the middle of her sister's feud. Turns out they were all just evil. All three got what they deserved. I couldn't stop laughing at the end. While they were scheming, the main girl had karma already set up for them. <laughs> I was so relieved she didn't actually find out that her mom and sister were planning against her. I actually love that the mom is pretending to be angry at Pell and say, maybe she'll hire you as a cleaner one day. That feels so not pretending. <laughs> Laughing emoji. She ate that up. Ate that up, literally. Hold up, newest. Let's see what, like, the new comments are. Oh, my God. Wow. What a plot twist. So, all this time, the mom pretended to be an abusive... To be abusive towards her two daughters while Elisa was her favorite daughter. But it turned out all three of them hated Elisa, and Elisa was actually the unfavorite daughter. I didn't, unfavorite daughter, least favorite daughter. I didn't expect it to be a plot twist. I'm actually, I'm, I'm shocked to have actually found out that the sisters knew all along that Elisa was unfavorite, was the unfavorite. What the fuck? Is that a word? The unfavorite. CTS for the sub, fast for the sub, Wilden for the three. The lone idea was satire. I'm living the longest life because I, oh, I already read that. Hold up. I got to go pee real quick. Then we're going to watch this short film. Chat, count me down. 30 seconds. I'll be back. 